Hello friend. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a continuation of the movie mania that I did a few weeks back. During that time we talked about the bad boys being filmed in Miami. That was the first bad boy movies. I also mentioned Scarface and I'm still looking to um, get the information on Scarface. Well Scarface got its name from Al Capone. Al Capone had a uh, he was cut on his face and they call him Scarface. But nevertheless um, not only did that movie but a few other movies um, took place at the Biltmore Hotel. And what we're going to do today we're going to go to the Biltmore Hotel. So we're on our way to the Biltmore Hotel. Some of the other movies that's listed are The Specialist, Shockwaves, CSI Miami, Poppy, and they also have here Miami Vice. The Biltmore Hotel is a historic hotel. I didn't realize it, but in this is 2024 and 2026 it would be 100 years old. It's a part of the National Registry of Historic Places. And it also has a I'm going to call it a world-class pool. At the time, it was one of the largest pools in the world. It was 23,000 square feet. Um, and some of the old-time names like Johnny Weissmiller. Um, I touched on Johnny Weissmiller on a few videos back uh, because he's also a part of the Swimming Hall of Fame. I mean, Johnny Weissmiller is known for Tarzan. But um, as a part of uh, the swimming um, instructions at Biltmore, Johnny Weissmiller um, spent time at the Biltmore there. Biltmore has a golf center. It has an event we center. In the front, and what I have endeavored to do was to capture some of that. Uh, I had mentioned so earlier doing one of the previous of videos that I've taken lessons with Jim this McLean. Is still not that doesn't mean I'm a good golf this player. Is not I just a bad took lessons. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm going to step out of the way and Enjoy. And I'll catch up with you in the end. Speaking a bit to the composition of movies, I'm doing that bad boy scene, which is at the very top one with the um, table. You remember the young lady? She climbed out of the roof onto the rooftop and she ran from roof to roof and things of that nature. So. You notice how the makeup of this roof is here. So, a lot of times you have to leave it to your imagination in terms of what the original spot is. There was a cigar room for those that like to smoke the stogie on the bottom level. Also, on Sunday, they would have one of the best brunches in the area.
Okay. So you would come here for your lunch and splash around in the pool. The type of statues. Coral Gables is famous for its Spanish or Mediterranean artwork and it's on full display here. The Italian flag, who's on? Florida flag, United States flag. Guess she's going to be so, a part of the wedding ceremony. We have Anastasia Avenue. We have Al Capone. We have a grand building being built. And I'm wondering, is there any uh, connection? Okay. As we are about to I'm wrap up, I want to thank you for staying to the end. And as a result of staying to the end, I'm going to give you some bonus information. As I was reviewing this and I made the comment in reference to the Italian flag, Florida flag, the United States flag, I was wondering what was the significance of the Italian flag. Then as I start to read on the hotel was built in 1926 and again um, to this day almost 100 years later they still have an Al Capone suite. As we know, Al Capone, the notorious gangster from Chicago via New York, uh, he wandered in South Florida. He had also had a home in Palm Island, South Florida, which is now um, between the causeway of Miami Beach and the mainland of Miami. The address of this hotel is 1200 Anastasia Avenue. Now, Alberto Anastasia was a big... Um, 